Welcome to Reason Minutes. I'm Sam Anon126. Welcome to Creation Minute. I'm Eric Hoven. I found this series of videos called Creation Minute, hosted by Eric Hoven, son of none other than Kent Hoven himself. Eric is taking over for his father while he is, shall we say, preoccupied, that is, in prison. I like math, so this one in particular caught my eye. Does 3 plus 3 equal 6? Why? I mean, seriously, what is the number 3? Mathematicians have already answered these questions with formal definitions of the natural numbers, that is 0, 1, 2, and so on. I mean, seriously. Can you touch it, taste it, smell it, see it? You're thinking, well, yeah, you can see it, it's right there. No, no, no. That is a representation of the number three. Yeah, true. I'll give you that. If that were the number three, I could do this. There. Now there's no such thing as the number three. You see, mathematics applies immaterial ideas to our material world. Excellent point. This is why math is so important. It is abstract, so it can apply to many situations. Now, some people suggest our world is only material. This is an attack on materialism as a philosophy, but I'll assume it's targeted toward atheists, irreligious people, and the like. But I personally regard myself as a naturalist, believing that only our natural world exists. This is not the same as materialism. But how would a material world create an immaterial idea? Answer, it didn't. They are derived from the very nature of God himself. What? Come on, Eric, we had a good thing going. You're going on about mathematics and immaterial ideas. Well, here's an interesting way to refute that argument. It begins with a triangle. Those of you who remember geometry should know that the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. But why? Is it part of God's nature? No. The great Greek mathematician Euclid, in his book Elements, used basic definitions of things such as points, lines, circles, and so on, and postulates, also known as axioms, or statements known or assumed to be true, such as a straight line exists between any two points, all right angles are equal, to prove that the interior angles of a triangle added up to 180 degrees. So do the elements represent God's nature? Again, no. Euclid and other mathematicians, whose work Euclid included in elements, formed their axioms from intuition or observations. I mean, seriously. I think you could come up with those two axioms I presented without resorting to divine inspiration. They then use these axioms to prove other things called theorems. These theorems are used to prove other theorems and so on. In short, math is based on human ideas, not divine inspiration. As for why 3 plus 3 equals 6, that is covered by what are known as the Paano axioms. These axioms give a formal definition of the natural numbers, that is 0, 1, 2, and so on and were developed by Giuseppe Peano, who lived during the 19th and 20th centuries. To learn more about the God of creation, visit us at creationminute.com. For more on secular reason and science, visit me online at youtube.com slash someanon126. And for misrepresentations of science and math, visit creationminute.com.